A plastic modular belt or chain consists of links and pins constructed to a specific length and width. The production of plastic modular belts and chains starts with the purchase of the raw materials. Modular belts and chains can be made of various types of plastic. After all the raw materials are delivered, they are stored until they are needed for mixing. Depending on the application and the requirements of the customer, a plastic is selected. For each order, a certain amount of plastic granulate is used. The base plastic plus the additives we add give the belts or chains the required properties, like impact resistance or UV resistance. Also, the coloring is done by the use of coloring additives. This composition then passes through a mixing machine before being transferred into a molding machine. In the molding machine, heaters melt the mix in a process called plastification. A precise amount of this liquid plastic is then injected into a closed form, also called a tool. Each product requires its own tool. For injection molding, a precision-made tool, complete with cooling channels, is essential to the entire process. The plastic mass solidifies inside the tool. The entire molding process can last from a few seconds to several minutes, depending on the size and the complexity of the item being made. Injection molding is a widely used process for the mass production of plastic products. It is a very efficient method of production for plastic belt and chain links. The design of the links, in combination with the plastic used, defines the properties of a belt or chain. Pitch describes the distance from pinhole center to pinhole center. Open surfaces can be useful when water drainage or airflow is needed. A ribbed surface gives minimum product contact and a lower coefficient of friction. Rough top surfaces reduce slippage of products and allow employees to move about safely on the belt. Both belts and chains are assembled with pins. Depending on the application, the pins are locked into position in different ways so that they do not fall out. Some belt series have a pinless design, meaning that the links are clicked together instead. On a conveyor, sprockets are needed to drive the belts or chains. Sprockets are mainly molded parts, and customers typically order them together with the belts or chains. The links, pins, and sprockets are stored in a warehouse until they are transported to the assembly department. Belts are assembled manually to the length and width ordered by the customer. In addition to material, size, and surface requirements, the customer may also require accessories such as product supports and side guards. For example, product supports can be used with inclined or declined conveyors. Once assembled, the belts or chains are delivered to operating companies or they are delivered directly to OEMs and end users. Our products also find their way to the market via distributors.